Today what we're going to do is we are going to do a fruit salad. Now to help me here today we have three very special helpers. We have Josh, Lakshmi and Nikhil who are going to help me make fruit salad. Now we've got a whole range of fruits today that we've been shopping for. Hey Josh. Hello. Okay, we're just doing a bit of shopping for some fruit salad. Let's have a look at what yeah. you've got in your basket. Can you show us what we've got? I've got some strawberries. Yeah. Um, raspberries. Right. Melon. Honeydew melon. Honeydew melon. Honey melon, right. An orange. An orange. Apples. Apples. Some blueberries. Blueberries, ooh. Um, cherries. Cherries. And some banana. Mango and banana. Excellent. Right, now, if just look at the price of this fruit pot, that is two pounds for a fruit pot, okay? And you only get that much. So you only get that, or you can buy all, this. all the ingredients, which is still quite expensive, because yeah. um, we've chosen really nice fruits like blueberries and cherries and strawberries. Yeah. Um, but you don't get any of that nice stuff in here. There's a couple of grapes in there, some watermelon, a tiny bit of pineapple, I think, in there. Pineapple, Okay. mango. But that costs two pounds. But look at all those different fruit salads you can buy. They're two pounds each for a pot. Or you can make your own. So I'm going to show you how to prepare each of these fruits very quickly and then we're going to have a go. Let's start with the very humble apple. So we've got a lovely golden delicious here. Okay, uh, it's got a sticky label on it. I'll pull that off. It says golden delicious look. Okay, we're going to just peel it first. So I've got a, uh, just a peeler from one of the drawers. Um, and we're just going to peel the apple like so okay so just using the peeler put it towards you like that okay okay so we've got our apple here okay sometimes people like to eat the peel I quite like eating the peel but in a fruit salad probably easier and nicer to take it off okay so to cut the apple we're going to um, again, use my claw grip, fingers out of the way. I'm going to cut my apple in half to begin with. Okay, cut my apple in half. I haven't gone through the core because I'm not going to put the core inside my fruit salad. So you see, I've just cut it um, like that. Once I've cut one edge, I can lay it flat. It's really easy. And then I can just cut the next piece. Okay, do you see I've caught a bit of the, the um, core in the middle there? I can just twist, twist that round. Just chop that off. Okay? Fingers well out of the way. So, depends how you prefer your fruit salad. Whether you want your apples quite big or small, what are we going for? Quite big. So, quite chunky, about that thick. So, remember it's your choice. Claw grip, fingers out of the way. Okay? And then, should we cut those in half again? Yeah. So, we can lay it flat. Claw grip, quarters, claw grip, quarters. Okay? Seems obvious, but to peel a banana from the top, take the banana, fold it like that, and pull, pull it away. Okay? Now, there are brown bits on this banana. Okay? Just a few little brown bits. Doesn't do you any harm whatsoever. They taste just the same. Um, if you feel it looks a bit ugly, you can just cut it off. Okay? On the chopping board. You can just place it on there, and we can just chop a little bit off the brown bit if you don't like it there. But I think it's fine. Not a problem with me. Just Peel it all, take our skin off, throw that away. Okay, and I'm just going to slice it. Okay, so do you remember that claw grip? Claw grip, roar, do that, like you're roaring like a lion. And then put your hand down, and can you see my fingertips are well out of the way? Can you see that? Yeah, so then you can just slice your banana, like so. Yeah. Right, Nikhil, do you want to finish off? Uh, slicing that banana, that's how thick they should be. Remember to use that claw grip. How I prefer to do my strawberries, but this is a bit more of a difficult way, so only if you're really good. You can hold it like that, and maybe not using a knife such as so sharp as this, you just cut it out like so, and pop out that little bit there. Okay, and then you can cut it. Okay, so do we want our strawberries a little bit smaller than that, or are we uh, happy with our size? Yeah. Quarters. I actually know. So, well, if you wanted to cut it into quarters, again using your claw grip and then slicing it through, okay? And it's just like a knife through butter. 
going back a knife for strawberries. So we've bought way more fruit than we need for a fruit salad. Um, probably only need about three or four fruits. But these guys went wild in the supermarket. So we've decided that uh, they're all going to cut up a bit of fruit and then choose what they want to put in their fruit salad. So we've got some blueberries. There's no preparation for blueberries. We just eat them as they are. My fingers are a bit wet. Sometimes. So we don't need to do anything with the blueberries. They don't need to be de-seeded. They don't need anything taken out of them. They just taste perfect as they are. Why don't I show you how to prepare the grapes? Can I just borrow that knife? Okay, so if I'm gonna cut them in half, if I'm happy to cut them in half, I'm gonna use the bridge grip. Okay, so we hold it between our finger and our thumb, and then we just slice through it like that. Okay? Can you see there's no way I can cut my finger or hurt my finger using that bridge grip? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, and these are seedless ones by the looks of it. Let's just have a look at the seedless grape selection. So there's going to be no seeds in it, which is perfect. Can you see, for a fruit salad, seedless ones are perfect because you're going to just be scooping them into your mouth and you don't really want to be spitting little bits out, do you? Okay, so we've got some grapes. So let's pop those on there as well. So we've got all of our peelings here, we've got banana skin, we've got apple peel, we've got the ends of the strawberry on here. Instead of throwing this in the normal rubbish, what can we do guys? Put it into a compost area. Put it into a compost, okay. So we can compost all of this. Um, in our gardens if you're lucky, you can put uh, a compost bin if you've got a big enough garden and you can throw all of these peelings which will rot down just perfectly and biodegrade. Okay, and then you can use that on your compost, you can put that on your flower beds, or in fact the fruit or, or salad garden. Okay? Right, now let's segment an orange. Segmented. Yeah, okay. So what's the first thing you need to do with an orange? Cut it in half. Peel it. Peel it. Peel it. Yeah? Okay, so let's peel it. So orange is uh, a citrus fruit. So can anybody else name any other citrus fruits we use regularly? Lemons. Lemons, Lime. lemons and limes grapefruit. are the ones I was thinking. And grapefruit, yeah. Melon. So what what makes a citrus fruit a citrus fruit then, Josh? What, uh, what's the difference between, what's their sort of flavour like? Tangy and sweet and sour, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So just peel our orange. We can try and get off as much of that white as we can. Yeah? Because that doesn't taste all that great. So do you want to just peel off those bits there for me? Um, okay. Um, raspberries we don't really need to do anything with. They've got no seeds inside. They are just lovely as they are. So we'll put those on the plate. They are quite soft raspberries, you've got to be really careful you don't crush them. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how to make, uh, how to, to, to prepare a mango. So the first way is you can just peel it and then just eat it and scop it down. That's not a very... How do you make Well, if, you, if you're at home in the garden and nobody's looking, that's a really lovely way to eat a mango. Peel it, okay. So you'd have to start peeling it with your, your knife and then peel it back. It takes a while. Or... You can cut it like I'm going to do now. Now, a mango has a big, massive seed in the middle of the mango. So, big stone, yes. So, if you cut just to the side of the mango, you'll feel the stone. There it is. And then you could just cut around it like that. Okay? So, you can see the stone. Can you see the stone there? Yeah. And then you've got your mango like that. Now, if you're really careful, you can hold it in your left hand. I'm right-handed. I'm going to hold it in my right hand, I'm going to hold the knife, and I'm just going to cut, not through to the skin. I'm going to score a hedgehog, yeah. yeah. We've done this before. And then cut it like that, then cut it like that, then cut it like that, then cut it like that. I'm going to be really, really careful. Notice on the other side, have I gone through the skin? No. no. So I haven't gone far enough, and then what do I do? Pop it. Pop it out. So we pop it out, and then all your mango cubes come off like that. So you can just knock your mango cubes off like that. That's good. So again, we can put our skin in the 
compost. In the compost. So we've got a big pile yeah. of compost now from our, our fruit salad. Now we have some cherries. What do cherries have in the inside of them? A stone. They have a stone, so we do need to take the stone out if we're having a fruit salad. Pull the stalk out and then just cut into it and then cut into it using your claw grip and then just push the stone out. Yeah? Quite messy, but if we want to have cherries in our fruit salad, doesn't care, doesn't matter what shape it is. There's the top of the melon, there's the bottom. We're gonna cut it. Okay, so use what's the grip this grip called? No, bridge, bridge grip. That's the bridge grip, isn't it? Okay. So is there any way my fingers can get trapped there? Look. Is there any way my fingers can get cut? No. Okay, cut it in half. Okay, and then we've got the seeds. You cut, cut them into quarters, don't you? Yeah. So if I put the flat side down like that, then I can use my bridge grip again. Okay, use my bridge grip, and there is the inside of the melon. Now, do you eat the seeds? No, no. Yeah, we don't want the seeds. So we can just clear out the seeds, just brush it out. It's really, really soft. Okay, we don't even need to use a sharp knife, we can just use a blunt knife or a spoon. So I'll just turn that over and we can get that bit out there. Okay, so there's our melon. We need to peel it. We want to take all of that white pithy bit out, that doesn't taste very nice. I've got all my peelings which is going to go in the... Compost. Compost. There we go, big pile of compost. Here's my melon. I'm just going to trim it a little bit, take off the top, and we are going to cut them into cubes. So I'm using a bigger knife. Okay, what grip am I using now? Claw grip. Claw grip. Okay. So I've got cubes. We like them quite big, don't we? Yeah. Okay, and big pieces of melon. Okay, there we go. Lovely sized bits of melon for our fruit salad. Okay, for your fruit salad, I want you to bring maybe three, four of these ingredients, the fruits that you like to eat. I would suggest the really easy ones are things like grapes. Uh, if you want a bit of a more of a challenge and you want to try doing a melon in class, it's gonna take you a little while if you haven't done one before. So only go that if you really want to challenge yourself and you're sure that you can prepare all of these other fruits. Bananas really easy to prepare, strawberries really easy to prepare. Things like the cherries are a bit more fiddly, so if you're a bit short of time and you're not very good with the knives, I would use the cherries. I would just use grapes, apple, pear, banana. What we're now going to do is we are going to take a bowl each, the three of us. So we're going to take a bowl each and choose which fruit you want to mix it in and we're going to squeeze some lemon juice over the top. So I have my lemon here everybody. This lemon is going to go over the fruit salad. Okay, because what that does, a bit of lemon juice actually makes sure that the enzymic action, okay, is slowed down. Okay, have you ever noticed on an apple, do you remember we did the apple right at the beginning? Can you see the apple starting to go brown? Yeah. yeah. There is nothing wrong with that. It's not bad. It's not going to make us ill. Okay. All that is, is the oxygen in the air reacting with the fruit juices, okay, and it's what we call oxidation because of the enzymes. But if you put a bit of lemon juice on that, okay, on your fruit, especially like your apples, apples and pears especially, then that will stop it oxidising. Now, because we're being healthy and all our fruit is really sweet today, isn't it? We're not going to add any sugar to our fruit salad. Some people like to boil some water, put some sugar in it, make a little syrup and pour that syrup over the top. We don't need to do that because all of our fruit's really fresh, really sweet, really delicious. If we mix it together and have them as spoonfuls as one big gollop, then it will be perfect. Right, do you want to get three bowls and then help yourself? So, what we've prepared here is we've got some cherries, we've got some mango, grapes, two different varieties, we've got some raspberries, We've got some strawberries, we've got some melon, banana, apple, and more strawberries. 
Uh, you don't need to bring that many fruits. I reckon about three or four of those fruits and we could have put pear in there. We could have put um, some blackberries in there. We could have put some other fruits in there. Choose whatever fruit you like to bring in for your lesson and then you'll prepare them like this. Right, let's dig in. Choose your favourite fruits and then let's have some lunch. I'm going for that. I'm going for some barnacles. Perfect. Let's not make too much mess on the table. Right, let's try a bit. Mmm. 